Yes, you see him. We're back with another first impression. The trip to Italy. If you've seen my The Trip 2010 movie review, this is a continuation of that. If you don't know, The Trip, the movie, was actually an edited, compressed version of The Trip, the TV series of six episodes compressed into one movie. And this time with Trip to Italy, I'm watching the other parts. So I'm watching the TV part. The Trip to Italy, the movie is out already. I haven't seen that because I'm going to finish this first. So anyway, that's a first impression and a first episode. We have Steve Coogan and Bryden once again eating food and talking about life and doing it impersonations and this time it's following in the footsteps of English poets in the early 19th century on the grand tour. And as a first episode I would say something is up with Bryden storyline wise and I'm intrigued and I cannot wait to finish this and see if I was right or wrong. And as a first episode I would say doesn't need any setting up because you know what's happening and I love their lines now. Their impersonation is another level of impersonation. Uh, instead of just impersonating, now they're having actual conversations and interviews with someone with another persona. So like, Steve Coogan was interviewed by, I think, James Bond, and played by Sean Connery, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But anyway, that was an awesome scene. And the food stuff is always awesome, really super fancy looking, really awesome food. And yeah, as a first episode, it brings back of what was great about The Trip, the movie. Because I haven't seen The Trip, the series, but now it's just like building on top of that and making it better. And I totally am looking forward to finishing this entire series, and I'll come back with Final Impression soonish. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this first impression of The Trip to Italy. It was great. It's what you would expect, but better. Anyway, that's all. Out.